Assalamu alaikum. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm doing fine. Excellent. Uh, so thank you for agreeing to join us for the interview and talk to us about the uh, the award. Um, first of all, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I am a, an IT manager and uh, technical services manager at uh, McGill, at Electrical Engineering at McGill. Uh, I've been working at McGill for the last uh, 20 years. Uh, I'm originally from Egypt. I got my engineering degree from Egypt. I came to Canada in the late 80s. Uh, and uh, I've been active in, the, in, in community work within the Muslim community and outside of the Muslim community for, for many, many years, actually, since I, since I arrived in Canada. So I did my degree at McGill, my law degree at McGill. I started in 2016 and I graduated in December 2019. Uh, before that, I used to live in Quebec City. So I did my high school and my stage up there. Uh, and then I moved to Montreal for my um, university studies. So. From there now, I'm a, I'm a, I've just finished studying for the Quebec bar, uh, yeah. awaiting my results. So inshallah, I passed. But <laughs> I'm hope I'm trying to become a lawyer. <laughs> Could you talk about your relationship with the with the CCIQ? What it is? So in that little house, um, you know, you had organized like Arabic lessons, and then they had a deal with like this community center, so that students would go there. Yeah. Um, and slowly, a fundraiser started. Uh, you know, it was organized so that the Muslim community could invest in a real mosque, uh, which later became the CCIQ. So I kind of like lived that transition from, you know, the Arabic classes at the little mosque and the community center and then at a real mosque, uh, Quebec's very first like official real mosque. The, really, the idea came as discussion started at McGill about uh, the anniversary of the Quebec City uh, mosque shooting. And um, uh, as many institutions uh, uh, were always happy and open to uh, do a commemoration for that, but I, I, I thought a bit deeper than that. I started thinking of how we can really use the, the memory of that catastrophe to uh, help build a better future, a better society. For people who aren't uh, Muslim or, or aren't part of the community that, you know, this this is directly addressing, uh, why should they also donate? This award is not uh, only for uh, Muslims. Uh, it is an award really for those who build a better society. The, the particularity with Quebec is that there is a special historical background that is pretty sensitive when it comes to religion. So I feel like there's a lot of work to be done, uh, a lot of outreach to be done from religious communities, be it the Muslim community or the Jewish community or even any religious organization, and especially the ones that are visible. What did winning this award mean to you personally? When McGill went, when McGill announced this award, it just, it felt like it was such a, you know, just a wave of support from McGill in the sense that they kind of approved the thought process that I had, thinking that like this outreach matters and this outreach may make a difference and seeing that this type of effort might, you know, can be rewarded and is worthy of being rewarded by an institution such as McGill, in my opinion, sends a very, very strong message. You know? For coexistence, for understanding the other, for not feeling that the other is really the other, that we are all just us together and uh, we'll get there I'm, I'm sure we'll get there but it's 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 a long road thank you for those uh, inspiring and, and eloquent words uh, i hope that uh, they'll help uh, encourage people and inspire people to, to donate and this important cause